Alright, so I'm going to show you all the programs and <coughs> options uh, for the current setup that it's come with on this Miele Professional PW6055 Vario, um, which is set up for a Vets for Pets. So it'll be um, a bit different than normal, but yeah. You will still get to see all these perks. So we're going to work with these programs first. Then later on, we'll go into service manual, uh, service mode, and try and adjust stuff. Then we're going to switch it on. <coughs> uh, right. So we'll go into program selection. So we've got towels. Um, it's 31 minutes, uh, it's up to 40. Even if you reduce the temperature, it doesn't really do much to the time. So, likewise, I think you can turn the spin off. Yeah, without spin, that seems to um, just take off 10 minutes. And we've got rinse hold. <coughs> We've got Towels Plus. Now, it's preset at 60, but you can go ooh, from uh, 80 down to 40. If you go up to 80, time goes up a bit. If it goes, basically, up to 60, um, you'll get the same time. In fact, it's a bit long. It's a minute longer at 40. <coughs> 49. 51 and etc. Again, we've got 1400 spin down to without spin, goes down to 41 minutes. Uh, we can have pre wash, which is 8 minutes long. No, it's 10 minutes long on this, that's weird. Here it is. And we've got rinse hold as well. And we've got capes. Which is done at 600 RPM. Uh, I think 30 is its max. Yep. Uh, and we've just got rinse hold. And then. We've got Cotton's Hygiene. <coughs> so, this you can vary it from 95 all the way down to 70. Um, we can have pre-wash, which is eight minutes long. Ready? There we go. It's actually eight minutes long. For some reason, the actual towels one's longer. Weird. Uh, the final spin, without spin, takes off quite a lot of time. Fifteen minutes it takes off. Although the actual final spin is only uh, six minutes long, actually. So then we've got Cotton's Universal. Now this is the standard, like quick. 60 program, <coughs> which we can also lower to about 40, goes by one minute, 30, whatever, uh, right, you got extras as well, so we've got a pre-wash, start, stop, uh, which I think will... So, um, stop at the end of the main wash or something. Alright, then we got cotton. No, sorry, that's wrong. <coughs> Where am I now? So then we got cottons, and it says, oh. That's weird, it says now we're 39. Yeah, yesterday I remember seeing it as over two hours. Oh yeah, it is two hours. It's two hours 10 for 40, two hours 9 for 50, and then one hour 39 for 60. That's really weird. And basically this is your standard, actual standard cotton programs you will get on the normal washing machine. The normal meal is so <coughs> if you've actually got heavily soiled items you should actually be using normal cottons uh, and then you can even add a pre-wash but that's only eight minutes long 
you still got starch stop as well. So yeah, there's that. Um, and then we've got minimum iron. Uh, it's max spin 1200. Uh, it's preset at 40, but we can go all the way up to 60. It's, oh, it seems to increase the time there. So what it looks like... Oh, that's it. Because of, of course, minimum iron, um, what it does on minimum iron is that it has that staged cooldown. So that's going to add on a bit of time. Um, it's more than likely that it won't take in a mix of hot and cold to be exactly 60. You'll probably do it at 40, then heat to 60. But on like cottons, it will take in hot, presuming it's 60, and then just... <coughs> And we've got delicates, max spin 600 RPM. Uh, you can max temperature of 40. Uh, there's a pre wash, I think. Again, it's eight minutes long. <coughs> and we've got wool, again, 30. Uh, but we can go up to 40. Don't seem to affect the time. We can only have rinse hold. And we've got starch. Starch, 30 degrees. And we can go up to 40. So starch is an additive that you can add to, instead of fabric softener, to, I think, shirts and stuff. And it makes them like new kind basically <clears throat> back um now we've got spin only which is six minutes long and we've got separate rinse which is 18 minutes long and we've got drain We've got quick wash, which is uh, 28 minutes long, does it 40, a full fat 1400. Oh, look at that, we can go up to 60. Doesn't seem to affect the time. That's 40. <clears throat> That's 25. I'm going to have rinse hold. Then we can go to. So we've got quick wash, we've got silks. Uh, it seems to be exactly the same as delicates in time wise. Temperature's limited to 30. Um, yeah, normal silks on <coughs> the Mila washers only does it 400, so I don't. It's a bit weird how it goes up to 600 on this. Uh, then we've got shirts. Max spin 800 RPM. I can whack it up to 60. That seems to affect the time. Yeah, it seems to be a bit like minimum iron, basically. A bit shorter than minimum iron. So it'll be interesting to see what it does. We've got starch, stop, and rinse hold. We've got intensive wash. Which is, uh, it just looks like a, a longer version of the normal cotton 60 wash. Yeah, it pretty much is. I think it's 10 minutes long by looks of things like that. <clears throat> and we've got outerwear, which is I think for like sports clothes and coats and stuff. seem to affect the time or something. So we've got extras, we've got starch, stop, rinse, hold. Then we've got proofing, which, oh, this is where it's like. Hmm. Not exactly sure what proofing does, I'm going to have to read it up a bit. And we've got toweling. So we've got towels, towels plus, and toweling. How unusual is that? 
It seems to be pretty much the same as Cotton's Universal here. Uh, but we can actually, ooh, we can go whack it up all the way to 95. So we don't seem to have any limitations on how, yeah, no limitations at all on the temperature. Full range. You can even have a 65 degree wash here because, of course, you got Cotton's Universal, which is up to 60. Then you've got Cotton's uh, Hygiene, which goes from 70 to 95. Weird. Anyway, so we've got, uh, we can have P-Wash, which adds on 12 minutes, actually. That's uh, quite unusual. Then we've got Express. So we've got Quick Wash and we've got Express. Uh, again, it's max spin 1400, so that's quite cool. Uh, oh, that's weird. It can even go up to 60. And then all of a sudden it's 28 minutes, so that's exactly the same as the Quick Wash. But Quick Wash at 40 is 4 minutes longer than Express Wash at 40. It's really weird. <coughs> So pretty much, Express and Quick Wash are exactly the same. And then we've got this, which is maintenance program. Um, 70 degrees. If you need hygiene all the time and you wash at a lower temperature, you can run this and it just basically does one cycle of hot water, basically, around the drum. It's not for cleaning the machine, it's just for literally disinfecting it, ready for the next load. Right, so that's the current setup. Now there are more programs and different options available within the service mode that I can activate later on. You have got a settings here, but it's not in this. So we've got uh, language as well. Um, we seem to have a lot. I'm not going to mess with that. Otherwise I'll never know. You've got Suds Cooling, which is uh, activated. <coughs> Time of day, which is already set. Display contrast. Now I've set it so we've got a really dark background, but if you turn that up, and I can't see, so a bit useless. It was sort of set to there originally. Uh, then you've got display brightness as well. You don't want it too bright, or it can be, uh, you know, it does affect your eyes. <coughs> Ah, so we've got standby, we've got on, not in current program, and off. <coughs> so, um, I don't know what on does. I think on will turn off the display during the cycle. And obviously you'll just have start sort of flashing away or whatever. Um, not in current program, so we, the display stays on during the whole program. After the end, it goes off, and then we got off as well. So that means it won't go off at all, even at the end of the program. Um, it's set to not in current program. Once the program's finished, it stays on, but obviously after five minutes, it goes off. Uh, the only annoyance I found that of is that because it goes off and it shuts the machine down, you pressing the lock button to unlock the door doesn't do it automatically, so you have to switch it back on via the actual button. Um, to then open the door, so it's a bit. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I've just set off. I think I'm gonna just set off actually. Uh, right, memory <coughs> will um, remember all the last settings used for that particular program. So if you're set to minimum iron at 60 and you select cottons at 40, it will remember them next time you select those programs. Um, I and mean, if you like pre-wash along with it, you'll remember that as well. But we're going to leave it off because obviously I like to change it all the time. Uh, temperature unit, you can have Fahrenheit or Celsius. And of course we're in Britain, so it's going to be Celsius all the way. <coughs> uh, and then we've got preset of Cotton's Universal 60, Minimum Iron 40, Delicates 30, Wonders 30. And they're the preset ones that come as normal. I might change them up. Uh, later on, because my plan is to have Cotton's normal, uh, so that's the normal 1L39 program, and then Cotton's Universal 60, no, sorry, Cotton's 
um, Hygiene 70. Uh, and then we're going to have um, one for the lights and one for darks. So, yeah, we'll do that. Right. Onwards.